Today we're playing with the biggest loser team in history. You could even call them the Suicide Squad. The first step was to create an advanced quality scenario, which may as well have been the last thing we will do before facing the unstoppable failure. I called it Do It For The Gram, the twist being that we will live stream this whole bullshit on Instagram. But not really. I may have forgotten to mention that we will roleplay as a team of four psychopathic influencers weapon to be cannibals. At this point you'd probably just ask me to drop names. But I won't. Yet. Oh, and we're also naked. Because of course. The severe, also severe hangover is a nice way for me to cope with the fact that I was forbidden to indulge myself into substance abuse anymore since that terrible accident. But let's move on. We go with Randy, my boy, on Adventure Story because it says right here that it's good for pursuing funny with gold. And while I admit it's not funny nor original, it's completely dumb. I also picked the commitment mode in a spirit of adversity against my hex. And then it was time to settle somewhere. Yeah, okay. I spent 12 years looking for my dream house, and I'm poor, so we just went with this nice deluxe villa in Montreal for the smile price of a loan of a million of dollars from all our Marvel game sponsorship we did in the past year. The team composition didn't really matter, since I actually forgot how to play a game before recording, so I just picked whatever looked good. Just don't get too attached to them, they'll all end up in the oven in a few days. It's just a question of time. And if we have time... After landing on this land that isn't yours at all, the first thing to do will obviously be to take everything and leave as soon as possible with all the resources. But that's not possible right now because they drink drive, causing them to lose their driving license for three months. We're not stuck here and we're naked, which just makes everything a bit worse. Anyway, we mined for a while, we got wood for a while, and we got bored, so we played Minecraft for 16 hours as we realized we still didn't have a roof over our head. And especially for un our antidepressant. We decided it would be wise to start building the base of a mansion. Yes, we didn't have any beds, but we ordered a PS5, which, monetarily speaking, is worth more. A lot more. Hopefully next day we'll have enough room for it and our two 4K TVs waiting at the post office. We also started taking care of a long-term vegan food need, the purpose of this being the construction of an overpriced vegan cafe as soon as possible to make a shit ton of cash to pay antidepressants because our insurance is trash. We don't have nor need rice cookers, eating raw human meat will be more than enough to sustain a colonist. Honestly, if they're not happy, they can just leave. I also realized a cruel mistake. I made rice feel... I made rice feel, but none of them will be able to produce plants that could be used as drug. Mistake that I immediately corrected, so don't worry too much. It was soon another day our first colonists woke up, eager to ruin their joints by doing difficult unpaid manual labor, cutting trees, planting drugs, building ugly structure. We were true Elon Musk role players, except we were poor. For now, at least. Just like my first minimum wage jobs, it was essential for our workers to know true pain. So we ran up to do everything. All the tasks. That wasn't in the job description? Well, maybe I don't care. Then, while we were so focused on unmixed beasting every tree we saw, I realized we were going to starve to death and I kind of felt like it was a bit too early for some real cannibalistic urges. So I told them to start hunting a rat named Francis. He insulted my mother yesterday, so yeah, goodbye Francis. I tell you we'd see each other in hell, but I, I don't, don't have, have a soul. soul. I also had the colonists build some beds. I know people game area, a bush zone and a crafting zone. For now, I don't really care if we were completely defenseless, but... Better now than never. You never know when God is going to call you a little bitch after all. Anyway, I started to make a few basic things like bows not long after. It was also pretty necessary to make our base bigger to resell it at an awful price later, because yes, I care about the future, especially when money is involved. And yet, is an ancient dungeon coming from somewhere, maybe it's a drug lab or something, I'll break in, but we're well, literally four naked people right now, so it's going to wait. The next day I made a new addition, a bigger place, a new field, to farm and make our own and their present to the future, also took the decision to build a research table, as it can only help. And I guess take another chair, it's fine. The setting of first technology was a crucial step, which is why I choose the drug production. I random also joined us, I guess it's okay, we can eat them later. They're also in an angover and have some old injuries, but don't we all? Then, another extremely important step came, choosing a name. I picked one that was representative of our community. From now on, we'll be known as the Influencers, trademark. And this is our settlement, Instagram people. This one doesn't have a trademark, I can't be bothered. After that, I just gave basic survival instruction. It was a bit boring. 
I was so bored that at some point I ordered someone to go hunt a bear, I think. <laughs> like, why would I ever do that? Play stupid game and die, I guess. We spent an eternity trying to kill the bear, and it even succeeded in putting one of us down. We did manage to rescue them, so yay! Never mind, they died. While we were taking a depression nap, some randoms just appeared? I mean, I don't know what they were doing here. I guess they were just vibing. I didn't notice that they were slaves. You know what I mean. Yes, their lives have new value. We killed one of them for meat and made the other one of prisoner. For some reason, their faction started to hate us. Like, I don't know, bestie, you just don't like your smelly, dirty slave wander after the Instagram people. What did you think will happen? One of us also had a mental breakdown, the first of a long, long set. Then I looked at Bob, our new prisoner, and saw that his blood filtration was... kinda bad because one of his skin was injured. I then took a reasonable decision and removed the other one and it worked! Not only did it improve Bob's blood filtration, but it also reduced his pain from severe to none. I am the doctor, the medic.